What's up my YouTube friends? Welcome to the channel again. Uh, so I got a mail call and a little layout update. Just a little layout update, nothing really big. Uh, just won't tell you what's going on. Uh, but the mail call, let's go. Let's get to it. There's the box. Let's see. Here's the box. This is who it's from, Scenic Express. There's their website. So right now Scenic Express is doing a uh, 15% off moving sale and I'm not affiliated with them or anything but let me tell you um, I ordered this on a Sunday it shipped out Monday morning came to the post office Tuesday sometime and I picked it up on Wednesday morning so let's go through the box I think that's pretty good they're in Pennsylvania and uh, for the time being they're moving so they're doing a promotion, a moving sale. Uh, so if you spend 100 bucks, you get 15% off with the code MOVE, M-O-V-E. So this is one thing I picked up from, him, from them. It's uh, their uh, flock. It's an Econo pack. Uh, it's 48 ounces. Um, this is like uh, summer lawn blend is what they call it. And I like it. It looks pretty good. It's going to look good on the layout. Uh, got some trees these are supposed to be uh, red maples yeah I don't know man they looked a heck of a lot better on their website I gotta say that much they're kind of I don't know I don't know we'll see how they look on the layout right they're two inch trees but uh That uh, summer blend was 840, well 850, with the 15 percent off. The trees were like 12 something a pack for six, and that's again with the 15 percent off. These are supposed to be uh, birch trees. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this tree is nice. Uh, it's from JTT Trees. It's like a three to three and a half inch tree it says HO scale but you know here's what it is three to three and a half inch privet that's uh three trees in a clump but I'm going to cut them apart and uh use them somewhere special on the layout uh, I got this little woodland scenics vac so they carry woodland scenic stuff too um uh, not just their own stuff right this this and right, did you see the tree Sorry. How about if I do this? Move the box. Right out there. That's better, right? And there's the trees. It's a little turning over, right? <laughs> the vac. This was like 18 bucks. I know. I could have found something cheaper, but yeah. I don't feel like looking, man. I, I don't like ordering from 10 different places. But the real reason that I got an order from them is their ballast. I like their ballast. This is the number 50. This is a light gray ballast. Uh, take you there. Sorry. Uh, and I like that it's, it's about the consistency of fine sand. And it's aggregate. It's natural stone. It's not you know, it, it's not walnut shells. So and this is where I was first introduced to them. And I got this. Uh, the lighter color you see was uh, some Woodland Scenics medium ballast that I have blended in. And it's way too big. You, it looks like boulders in here. Uh, so I had sifted it out and uh, some still remains. So I'm using this for my sidings. Just a comparison, this is Woodland Scenics Fine. It's hard to like tell, but I don't, yeah, it's hard to tell. But Woodland Scenics Fine Ballast is probably twice the size of this number 50 ballast. They recommend this for N scale. And, and I think it looks good on N scale, for N scale, right? So I got this. Uh, 
This was, I think, um, twenty-one dollars and twenty-four cents for, you know, uh, half a gallon. So hopefully this will be enough to ballast the rest. And this is a great light gray ballast. Let me take you to the layout and show you what I've been doing. Take you off of this thing. So there you go. I don't know how good you can see, but. Uh, I ballast, uh, ballasted in here, my lumber siding, uh, the bakery siding, let me flip this way, maybe, yeah, that's better, uh, the bakery siding and the car shop siding over there, uh, so just, uh, kind of, this was the first one that I ballasted, um, it's okay, it's a siding, right, these are all sidings. Hopefully, uh, my others will get better. And I, I, you know, it's like, it's that's what it is, right? But, uh, that is the number 50 Scenic Express Ballast. I think it looks pretty good. Next to the car, right? That's an end scale car. I think it looks pretty good. This is the lumber siding, obviously. So... What's what's going to happen here is, you see, I started marking out some areas. This this layout is going to resemble an industrial park. Okay, so it's going to have some grass, you know, uh, some nice trees. Hopefully, I use those trees I got. We'll see. Uh, but this is the back end here. So there'll be a road here. Okay, two lane road. And it'll go this way for the bakery. Bakery will be here. There'll be some parking and whatnot here. And, you know, there's going to be a road over here. Road here. It goes down. And then coming back up, there's a road here that goes around and goes off the layout that way. Again, this is the back of the layout. Um, this would be the right side of the layout here, okay? And there'll be a little industry here, okay? So, let me bring you around here. This will be the lumber yard. Buildings that are set in stone are the lumber yard, the car shop down there, and the bakery, and this little industry here that's non rail served. Uh, so, this will be all like concrete kind of with some grass over here somewhere uh, grass in there in the center of that Y so there'll be plenty there's plenty of room for a little forklift to unload the lumber cars this will be all uh, all around here will be asphalt or cement something I don't know probably cement then uh, over here will probably be my shop somewhere, and that'll be asphalt. There'll be a road coming up the middle where that roller is. Let's take you down the other end. So really, the only way into the center of this industrial park is going to be this crossing. This road crossing right here. This is the back of the layout, and this will be the left side of the layout. So the road's going to come across, over, turn, and start going up. And then, you know, there'll be parking lots and whatnot here and there. And still don't know what's going to go here, if anything's going to go here. The diner's going to go somewhere, whether it's here or in a corner, like up in that corner, or one of these corners. I, I don't know. We'll see how big the diner is when I'm done with it. But uh, yeah, so there'll be parking and some grass area. It's gonna be all grass area. So I got this little truck that I got from the show a couple weeks ago, just to kind of give me an idea of, you know, parking here. And so it's just for size reference, really, just to see if this is really gonna work the way I'm doing it. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy. I'm. <laughs> not really happy with the ballast right now but that's what it is you know it looks okay um, you know once I finish doing the rest of the stuff to it you know filling in that area there it'll look fine 
Um, I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'll put some shrubs or something, some weeds or something in there. You know, these are sidings. The main line's all going to be gray. Uh, and that's really my update for now. So, uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for following along. Thanks for subscri subscribing. And, uh, hey, uh, yeah. I don't know when the next update is going to be. I need to uh, kind of put this aside for a little bit. So, who knows? You never know. Sweating like a pig. That's all I know today. It's hot. Be well. Be blessed. Until the next time, see you. Peace.